Hello everyone, it's Kate Rice here, coming to you from Melbourne Zoo. It has been my absolute honour and privilege to write and illustrate the story, Hope the Eastern Barred Bandicoot. And I'm here today to share this with you. So let's read together, shall we? This is a story of Hope. Hope is an Eastern Barred Bandicoot. When Hope was first born at the zoo, she was a tiny pink joey, no bigger than jelly bean. To begin with, she stayed safe and warm in her mother's pouch, drinking milk to help her grow. Grow she did. Soon Hope was big enough and strong enough to climb out of the pouch and into the world. The world for Hope was small at first. She stayed close to her mother in their grassy nest. When she was ready, Hope clambered out. It was time to explore. Hope was playful and curious. She had a lot to learn. Soon she could gallop around her zoo home and sniff out tasty crickets that were sometimes hidden for her. After a while, she could even build her own nest. But most of all, she loved to dig. All this time, Amy was watching. It looks like you're almost ready, said Amy, who was pleased with what she saw. It came time for Hope's checkup. The stethoscope felt cold on her belly. She had grown strong and healthy and could now do many things. You're ready, thought Amy. One morning, as Hope was sleeping, she awoke to feel Amy's gentle hands around her. She was carried to a cosy, dark crate. Don't worry, little one, Amy reassured her. We're taking you to a new home. There will be lots of space for you to run around, lots of insects for you to eat, and no foxes. Hope liked the sound of that. And so, nestled in the darkness, she fell asleep dreaming of her new home. Drifting in and out of sleep, Hope heard some strange noises. Broom, beep, rattle, splash, chug, 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 chug. At one point, everything seemed to be bobbing and rocking from side to side. It felt strange, but Hope was soon rocked back to sleep until the door of her crate squeaked open and a slither of moonlight streamed in. Out you come, coaxed Amy. This is your new home. Hope peered across the grassy plain that seemed to stretch out forever in front of her. Her bright black eyes could see further than they had ever seen before. Hope pointed her long nose towards the moonlight and took a deep breath in. The air smelt different here. Grass, she recognised that from the zoo, but there were different smells too. Things that she had never smelled before. It smelled fresh and strange and kind of salty. The air felt different too. Hope could feel it tickle her whiskers and move through her fur. At first, Hope was afraid to leave the safety of her crate. But then, ever curious, she took a brave step out of the box. The grass glistening with evening dew felt cold and wet beneath her feet. Good girl, whispered Amy, proudly encouraging her forward. Hope took another step and then another. Her legs began to quiver. Was it fear or excitement? Perhaps it was a mixture of both. Suddenly, a strange thing happened. Spring! With a giant leap, her legs took off as if they had a mind of their own, as if they were remembering something. Faster and faster, she bounded through the grass, the cool night air rushing past her. 
she felt as wild and free as a bandicoot had ever been. As Amy watched Hope's stripy little bottom disappear into the darkness, a small tear ran down her cheek. She would miss this furry little bandicoot, but at the same time, it felt right to let her go. Besides, she knew she would always have hope in her heart. Well, I hope you enjoyed this story as much as I enjoyed creating it.